Hi there, Capricorn. Here to get you some tarot messages for today. Uh, let's get a glimpse into your person's energy. What's going on with your person? King of Wands. Temperance. Seven of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles. Okay, let's get a feather message. And a Kuan Yin message. All right, what's going on with your person here? Uh, we have Wands, Pentacles, uh, Seven of Sword, Temperance. All right, so blending of these energies. Um, you know, you've got quite a few elements here not seeing any cups though so i'm feeling like this temperance energy is where that the uh emotions come in um whatever emotions were missing or whatever emotions were not expressed are about to be expressed i feel like there's going to be an explosion of emotion um here it's like your your person uh, is really deep in thought right now. Uh, they're feeling confident in themselves. They're feeling very, um, they're feeling stabilized right now. Um, and I feel like it's mainly, I mean, okay, I'm getting a financial, uh, um, a feeling of financial stability and prosperity. But I'm also getting that, you know, of course, prosperity is not only financial. Um, you know, there's spiritual prosperity. There's there's um, financial prosperity. There's emotional prosperity. Um, there's all kinds of prosperity and all kinds of abundance. Um, and I feel like your person's really drawing on their self now. They're drawing on their truth. Um, you know, and they're ready to... Uh, expand and explode with emotion is what I'm getting. Uh, let's get some clarity in here. I feel like your person um, is feeling very strong right now. They're feeling very stable with this, with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Yet we have Seven of Sword again. It's like very interesting. I almost wanted to, you know, the cards were kind of saying to me, Draw a clarifier on that seven of sword. And I, I I just bypassed it, which I shouldn't have because you always follow your intuition. Um, so what I'm getting here, moon. Yeah, there's something changing here. Uh, something that your person didn't see before. I know seven of swords, it gets a bad rap. You know, seven of swords, people immediately, they go, oh my goodness, someone's deceiving me. Someone's cheating on me. Woe is me. You know, same with the death card. You know, people get the death card. Not necessarily true, but you know, you see it on TV, you know, a tarot reader, they pull the death card and it's like, oh. So, <laughs> I'm getting like a final, like a releasing is what it is. This is like pent up thoughts, pent up emotions that haven't been expressed. And your person's ready to bust at the seams is what I'm getting. I'm feeling like that. They're ready to bust at the seams. King of sword. Okay. So there's clarity in the king of sword. Um, you know, the king of swords knows what to say. The king of swords knows what to do. Uh, the king of swords acts um appropriately the king of swords um abides by social rules uh the king of swords says what is expected of them um there's you know and you got king and king here and you also have king of wands so it's like the all these kings is like taking control of this situation but again Where's the cups here? Like King of Wands, King of Sword, King of Pentacles. So there's mental clarity. There's there's a physical feeling of well-being. There's there's a strong passion, like being in control of all of that. Except, I think I'm feeling like your person is hiding from their emotions. 
Um, and they're ready to bust at the seams here. Hey, man, yeah, they're holding in all of those emotions. Um, they feel them. Uh, they feel them within themselves. They just have no idea on how to release it. Um, and with these sevens here, you know, seven of swords twice, seven of wands. It's like the seven of wands is, you know, uh, seven of wands can be defensive, like, you know, being maybe afraid to speak out for fear of being, uh, ridiculed or there's something about maybe, okay, so maybe in the past your person expressed their feelings and they were either laughed at or cut down or, or their, their feelings were not reciprocated. Uh, so that really tainted your person's um, emotional well-being. So now they're very, very um, protective of their emotions. They shield their heart. They don't want to be hurt. Um, but Spirit's healing that. Spirit is giving them the confidence to speak their heart, speak their truth. Uh, follow their heart um, is what I'm getting here. Five of Cups. Wow, there's a lot of regret. There's a lot of worry. There's worry that maybe they shoulda, coulda, woulda express themselves sooner. Um, wow, I mean, okay, the only cup we have here so far is a Five of Cups. So Five of Cups is like Gosh, all the all the regret and all the guilt and all the oh the the heavier emotions. Um, but again, fives are about change. And next to that temperance, it's like healing those emotions, emotional healing. Look, nine of cups, yeah. Like busting out of that fear. Like I was getting that energy with the seven of wands, you know, busting out, you know, busting out finally getting that wish fulfillment, speaking truth, um, you know, not holding back, um, you know, seven of swords, seven of sword moon. It's like holding back emotionally. Uh, but, but feeling, I feel like a person has it together. I mean, they got all this king energy, king of sword, king of pentacle, king of wand. It's just, they don't know how to express their emotions. Uh, let's get, let's get a couple more on these two sevens. Four cup and page of sword. All right. So again, four cups is like, you know, having, having it, but not seeing it or not expressing it. Um, but yet we have the page of sword. So you know what? Page of swords, expressing what's on your mind, a communication, a clarity. Page of swords knows how to uh, create a plan for the future. Um, and I feel like your person's working on that emotional piece. Like, um, I feel like I want, let's just get one more. Five of Pentacles. Oof. Wow, this is very hard for your person to express themselves. Very challenging for your person to make changes. You know, Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, it's like feeling left out or feeling there's worry there. Five of Pentacles can be a worry card. Um, and worrying about maybe how things went down in the past. Again, I'm getting like your person might have expressed their love to someone in the past and just it was not reciprocated. So now they, they very much worry about, you know, being left out in the cold, being laughed at if they express themselves. Uh, but there's healing here. King of Wands you have again. There's a lot of passion for you. Your person has a lot of passion. They have this energy for you, but they need to somehow release this old fears. There's something they need to move on from. Fool, you know, a new beginning, light and free. So maybe that's what your person is doing with the Seven of Swords twice here. Seven of Swords is about walking away from things that um, no longer uh, serve you or walking away from things that are not good for you. Uh, Seven of Swords can be an escape card. So escaping the past maybe, or, you know, not necessarily escaping it or avoiding it, but, but just walking away from those old hurts, uh, drawing healing, like a, drawing in some healing energy from that temperance. So 
you know, the fool energy is light and free. Uh, fool does not necessarily have to know uh, the answers. Fool just trusts that the answers will appear as needed. So your person is learning, learning to follow their passion. They're learning to heal their heart. Um, you know, they're going within. They have a lot of passion for you. Uh, I feel like they're just working on themselves, their inner, their inner, um, just the inner, the inner things that hold them back from expressing their truth. And they feel like they're ready to bust out emotionally. Uh, you know, they're, they're attempting, they're doing their best to, you know, release those sorrowful emotions, um, you know, and I feel like that's what needs to be walked away from is the, 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 the past, you know, past, the past is the past. Leave the past behind. Currently, we only have the moment, the right here and the right now. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. Um, you know, so I feel like your person is learning to let go of the old hurts so they can, you know, move forward, healed, refreshed, you know, fool energy, nine of cups energy, temperance. Like there's a sweeter, softer, wishful filling energy that wants to uh, come through here. The person's working hard on it. They're, they've done a lot of suffering in the past and I feel like they're ready to let that go because they, th there's so much goodness here. Uh, there's strength and goodness and stability here. It's like trust. A person just needs to trust their heart here. All right. And our feather message is the woodpecker. Use your discernment and fortitude to achieve your goals and find a new rhythm. So, yeah, trust in, trust in your heart. Follow your heart. It's, it's, you know, sometimes our past experiences hold us back from really enjoying the now and, and the possibilities, seeing the possibilities of the future. It's like, I feel like there's wide open space right now. Um, there's an opportunity to begin light and free and let go of all that old, heavy, untrusting, fearful energies, thoughts. All right. And our Quan Yin message in closing, we have the book of changes. Just like a beautiful but unusual melody, the divine plan is unfolding through your life. Although it isn't always predictable, Quan Yin is guiding you in the right direction. Even if you do not fully understand what is happening in your life right now, allow Quan Yin to bless you with trust in the unfolding of your own divine path. Peace be with you. Bye now.